What's up, YouTube? Hey, nice and hot, but beautiful Sunday out here messing with these cars. Uh, as a matter of fact, I wanted to shoot a little quick video. I did post this car for sale. No, don't worry about anything. I really don't think it's gonna sell. Actually, my way of thinking was I'm actually gonna uh, put everything for sale. Right now, I'm kind of just spread a little too thin on my projects. And really, I'm not making a little extra money, so the projects are kind of at a standstill. Everything's waiting on parts, time, which I don't have either. Uh, so I thought, let me just put on my little projects for sale and the last one standing, we're gonna go ham on. Do I think it's gonna go? Probably not, especially because of <laughs> all the comments on the price. Uh, I thought I put it relatively cheap. Yep, it's not done. I listed it for 25,000. And it's not a done low rider, but it's pretty much 80% there. Uh, and then I thought about it. I thought long and hard, what's the price? Now, I don't know exact prices, but man, I'm gonna I'm bring this video. We're actually gonna have an update and uh, a pretty much of how much I've spent on it so far on the build and an update as far as where we're at with the build. This is what we're gonna do with this video. Everybody's concerned with how much uh, I put it for sale. Well, let me just run it by y'all and then at the same time show y'all where we're at with it. Actually, uh, started putting the pillows in the car. Uh, man, actually, since I got it back from issues, we're still not done with it. Uh, I got a video actually coming up on installing these, so stay tuned. Surprise, uh, uh, surprise the hell out of me. They actually fit without, with few modifications. They're not done yet, of course. Check out the door panels. I don't think I've even shown them off. They're all dusty. We're not done with them. We're actually going to add another piece, uh, here. Put our speakers in there. Polish the trim. I was rushing ish. We were trying to go to some show in New Orleans. I really wanted to go, so we didn't even finish the interior. That's why I haven't showed it off to y'all. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. Let's, can we get some detailed look at the guts? But we're not done yet. As y'all can see, he put the screen, the Nintendo. We still got to do some work on the, on the uh, dash. We're going to repaint it, do it all, do it up. But uh, it's starting to come together. See, you know, my vision slowly. A lot of detail work. But man, it's hooked it up. And plus, I got these seats out of a junkyard. Have y'all seen that video? I've saved a lot of money here and there. So right now, right now in the interior, we got about 3,000. And that's on low ball. Ish hooked me up. Pretty much that's all materials. And uh, he really didn't charge me what he's supposed to be charging me. Uh, but he wanted to try out some. I say, I'll go, go for it. We needed another, about another $2,000 in the interior. So we at 3K right now. I need another 2,000 because I'm including speakers in the dash. We're putting a little base in it, uh, trim. It's gonna be a little bit more than that, but basically the interior is gonna be around five. Uh, we're basically waiting on Ish uh, to get some time, so we take it back over there, and he can finish that up. So moving on, we the interior is gonna be easily more than five, but I did a lot of work myself. Uh, check it out. Now the most important part of a car, the a drivetrain. This car, when I first got it, it had the original 305 in it. It was running and driving. I actually drove it to a show with the 305 in it. But I decided to do the swap. This is a 350 swap. It's dusty as hell. So we got a detailed video coming up uh, for sure when we need to. <laughs> but we got headers, chrome, uh, bigger radiator. We got the transmission rebuilt. The motor was rebuilt built by... Uh, I don't know if y'all from Houston, but y'all remember uh, Thunderbird, Thunderbolt? Uh, we got the motor from Thunderbolt rebuilt. Uh, we put that yeehaw back in your motor and transmission. Only my uh, Texas folks might know about that. Maybe even just Houston folks. Anyways, I got at least $7,500 in this engine compartment. And that's me doing a lot of the labor, honestly. So we need to finish the uh, power steering is broke. We need to do the AC. And obviously clean up and a few more details. We're going to order this tank look or probably put a billet one. A few more details. So we had 7,500 easy. That's low volume, guys. Uh, and I need another 1,500 to finish, which is the AC, a few little knickknacks. So we, we had 7,500 right now. And we're going to need another 1,500 to get it decent. Moving on, moving on. I got this car. It was red. Uh, the paint job, not the greatest paint job in the world, but obviously not the cheapest either. Uh, I got to go back and fix a lot of the little things that I've messed up and uh, stuff that was overlooked. But I'm happy with the paint job. It's 5000 is what I paid for it. 
But I think uh, I talked to uh, a few guys. After I get everything done, I'm gonna repaint it. Not the whole car, we're just gonna fix the few things I don't like on it. Touch-ups and all that, he told me another 3,000. So I'm probably gonna be 8,000 in the paint and it's still not gonna be A1, but it's gonna be decent. Now, on Instagram it looks clean, but you know, in person it got little defects here and there. Everybody knows their own defects. Uh, moving on with the car. Oh, another thing I'm kind of forgetting, all the trim, the emblems, that's very expensive. I got bumpers. This impact strip right here was like $300 and I got to replace it. I already messed it up. All these bezels. Really, really, I got about 5,000 in trim, bumper work. Easily. So we're gonna put about 5,000 on all the trim on the outside, cause we got brand new emblems. We got a whole bunch of stuff and man, we need at least another 2,000 to finish it. Cause I gotta uh, polish some stuff. I gotta get some stuff painted. So we at least $5,000 in the trim. Uh, Y'all can probably get a better look at the door, door panel over here. There's more light. Uh, like I said, we're gonna add a piece right here. This is, it's actually pushed this backwards. We're gonna put a speaker. It's dirty. We didn't even clean it up, get our things polished. It's coming together, coming together. A little mix of old and new. Uh, oh, the top. Actually, I didn't pay to get that top. My home, uh, you know, my uncle Ronnie hooked it up. It took forever, but he didn't even charge me to change it. But usually that run at least. $500 to $1,000 on that. Uh, fifth wheel. That's $1,500 all day. Probably even more, but prices have gone through the roof on them things. Now, uh, another expensive part in this whole build, the hydraulics. You can't have a low rider without hydraulics. Uh, and y'all can see, hey, this is raw. I gotta detail this. This is ugly how I have blue and red. I still gotta detail this whole car out. Uh, still have to put the locks on it. Let me, uh, let me look for a screwdriver real quick and I'll hit y'all right back. All right, guys. Woo! This is, uh, we got the funk in the trunk, you know? We went a little excessive. Of course, you could do a lot more, but you could do a lot less. We got a three pump setup, bladder pump, uh, eight batteries, uh, accumulators, man. And a lot of the work was actually hooked up. Uh, initially, the car already had hydraulics. Kevin worked on it. He did a lot of work on it. He charged me cheap. Uh, he helped me source the parts. We got a couple used pumps, a couple new things. We mix and match. Really, 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 I did my uh, due diligence in trying to get a good price on these hydraulics. Uh, I had fine line hydraulics fix our chain bridge situation and it's working good right now. So right now, honestly, I got about 8,500 in the hydraulics. $8,500 right now in parts and labor. And that's because it was already hooked up. It already was reinforced from the get go. Uh, Kevin didn't charge me too much. Uh, fine line didn't charge me too much. And I didn't go everything brand new and I got at least $8,500. Now what's left on the hydraulics, man, we probably got, I can't put a price on that because maintenance. Every time I pull this motherfucker out, some on the hydraulics go bad. If you actually gonna hit the switches. Uh, man, I think uh, I'm in it cheap at 8,500. I think I probably got more closer to 10, but let's just put 8,500. And the hydraulics, they're never ending because you're always constantly gonna have to upgrade or replace stuff that gets broken. Uh, along with that is, I think I got a deal on the car. Uh, talking about another deal, hold on, we skipping one big thing. Uh, my dirty ass Dayton. Real deal, holy field Dayton. To be honest with you, I never thought I'd say I owned a real set of Dana D's. Uh, as y'all know, growing up as a lowrider, these were the ultimate, boy. I've had a lot of Chinas, and I had had one set of Daytons that needed to be restored, which I can't, I'm not gonna count it. I originally had Chinas on this car and I was cool with it, but I hit a raffle. You know, them goddamn raffles. I'm actually addicted to them boys. I'm off uh, on Instagram and all that, but I hit. So I'm only $65 or $75, whatever the raffle ticket was. But Dayton's are 5,000. Something like this is about five grand. Uh, 
give or take, uh, if you want gold and all that, then it starts to go up for real deal days. Now, if you want to roll some Chinas, uh, probably about 2,000 for some fake Zeniths right now. Look, they, they look good. Uh, maybe 3,000, I don't know. Uh, the car, oh, I haven't talked about, I think I got the car for five, five stacks. And the car was an old lowrider, it had already been done. Sometimes that's not the best situation. It, it, honestly, honestly, uh, I'd rather st buy a start with a stock car, even if it's gonna be a lowrider, just so you know it hasn't been abused. But the two doors are very hard to find, plus this was a land dude, everything I was looking for. And the way I saw it was, I didn't have to pay for reinforcement, the, the, the frame's already been strapped. And was it abused at one time? Probably. Uh, as I went through the car, I think it used to be like a little street hopper or they tried to hop it. But hey, we're fixing all that, everything again. Uh, you know, luckily the, the frame was strapped. So it's getting there, I'm making it a street car now. Uh, I haven't been able to enjoy it at the, uh, as much as I want to because it's not done. We need the AC, last time I drove it, ah damn, can't drive without AC. We gotta get everything hooked up, gotta finish my music and all that. So, pretty much, let's see if my editing skills are all right. I'm trying, I don't know if I put the numbers up on the screen or whatnot. But we're gonna tally it up and see roughly what we got in this car and then uh let me kick y'all back home. <laughs> Man, and I was kinda I look back at the video right now, I was kinda giving low prices. My god, y'all, y'all see that? Over 35 racks, and I was lowballing a lot of this stuff. We still need about eight to ten more thousand to finish it to where it needs to be. Uh is it ever gonna be hundred percent done? Probably not. Am I gonna remix it probably? Yeah, most likely. So, as y'all can see, I got over $35,000 in it right now, and that's hard money. I'm not even counting all the labor I did. I did a lot of work on this car. A lot of time and effort went into stuff that, that I can't put on paper and put a price on it. So if you really want to own a lowrider, depending on what level you want to get into, man, be ready with them pocketbooks. And be ready to put in some work though, too, because it's kind of hard to have a lowrider and you not do anything on it. Now, like I said, I listed it for $25,000. To me, that's a steal of a deal. But hey, y'all could keep, keep on chit-chatting. It doesn't have to go. I'm broke, <laughs> whether it, it, I sell it or not. But anyways, y'all, what y'all think of the video? Uh, what do y'all think of the car so far? Yes, we went through and seen what we got in it, how much money we got in it. But y'all seen an update basically where we're at with it and what's coming in the future. So uh, appreciate y'all watching. Catch me on the next one.